Hi guys, welcome back to another video. For those who are new here, I'm Ali and you're watching Philippine Beauty. So for today guys, right now time check is 5.30 and this is how it looks like. This is what 5.30 looks like here in Cagayan. It's already very bright and we're going to another Padagat adventure and I'm really excited to show you that to you guys. For this video, we're going to Agutayan Island which is located somewhere in Hasaan and it's I think it's an island which magically disappears during that time period I think during the afternoons it's gone especially during the high tide but then it during the low tide it's going to appear again so that's where we're going up today and after Agutayan Island I will also be shooting in Sangpulon Falls which is also located in Hasaan but I will be showing that to you guys in the next week so yes, first we're going to go to Gutayan Island and then Sagpulon Falls, okay? So that's it guys. So enough with the talking and let's get on to the video. Agutayan Island is located in the Makahalar Bay. To reach the island, you have to stop in Hampason Barangay Hall in Hasaan. So from Divisoria Plaza to Hampason, it is a 48-minute or 32.5km drive. Then, when you arrive in Hampason Barangay Hall, you'll ride a motorized boat, which is a 20-25 to 25 minute travel from the port to the island. It depends on how wavy and windy the bay is. We're now here in Baloy Tablon. Time check, it's 5.30 and it's really chilly today because it's still very early in the morning. But look at the clouds guys, it's very beautiful. Guys, we're now here in the overpass in Puerto. We're now here in Buko and this is the boundary of Cagayan de Oro City and Tagulon Municipality. And before you get to enter the Gulwan, you have to pass through this checkpoint. We're now here in Barangay Santa Cruz, which is still part of the municipality of the Gulwan. You can also find the Coca-Cola plant here in the Gulwan. So guys, our destination is Barangay Hampason, located in Hasaan. But once you see the Sophie Red Hotel, it means that we are very near our destination. Guys, we're finally here. Right there on the left side, you'll find the green covered court with a sign that I heart Hampason. And we're finally here, guys. So, your trademark if you want to come here in Agatayan, you have to find this I heart Hampason. Yes, I heart Hampason. And this covered court over here. So, okay. This is where you're going to drop off going to Agutayan Islands, okay? So let's go to our boat! <laughs> We're going to follow our guide, Kuya, which is going to where? To our banka, and I'm going to show you. Here, this is where he went. So guys, this is our motorized boat, and they told us to climb up the boat already. So they have this really cute two-step ladder. So they said that the travel going to the island takes 20 to 25 minutes. It really depends. Time check, it's 6.30 and it's starting to feel really warm now so I decided to take off my jacket and we almost forgot about caramel so here I am trying to get caramel. I finally got her and the little pup is secured. Everyone was really excited and I even told Kuya to smile for the camera. So let's go guys, our journey begins. The water looks very dark guys, I think this is very deep. 
So guys, we're going on full speed and right now the only thing I could hear is the boat's motor because I tell you it's really loud and I could hardly hear anything. I only lowered the volume but this is the only thing that we can hear during the whole ride. 15 minutes has passed and we're still here in the middle of nowhere. That's me preparing the action camera for later. At the back of the boat, you will find Kuya and Manong driver. Guys, we're finally here. The island is finally visible. I'm really excited guys and I hope you guys are too. Look guys, that's the watchtower and Kuya is going down to park the boat. So we're here now in Agatayan Island. I'm going to jump. Kuya is going to help. Okay, thank you. Yeah. See, it's here. Okay, so as you can notice guys, I said earlier that this island is going to disappear, right? But actually it's not, it's not going to fully disappear because here's a line over here. During the night time when it's going to be high tide, the water would rise up to here, this level, this level here, and then this would appear. A small portion of the island would only appear during the high tide. Okay, look guys, is it the tubig? Nadala lang as tubig ya? We're the only one who's here. This is the right side, by the way. Okay, guys, yes, as promised, white sand here at the Thai Island. Here, this is all us, just us for today. There's no shade in this area, that's why they told us to come here very early, as early as 5 a.m., so that we can really enjoy the place without having to suffer too much under the heat. So, guys, I'm going to give you a tour. I went here to the very, very end of the island. Here. This is it, the very end of it. Let's go there. Oh, there's fishes! Guys, look! Oh, pretty. Oh, the water is cold! Which is nice and cool. Okay, so that is the tower, the watch tower. I think we can go there later, but we'll probably try to go there later. This caramel enjoying the water. Okay, so let's go on. And we found our starfish. Very first starfish. Oh, it's still alive, so I'm going to drop it back to the water. Here, live starfish. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's also crabs here. We're running around. Caramel, come! So, I am going to give you a tour from here to there. So, by the high tide, this is going to all disappear. This side here. By the high tide, you can see there's a like a mark over here where the water is going to be when it's high tide. So, here, this area here is still wet. And that is not wet, so... During the high tide, the only thing that you will find in this island is going to be that top portion there and the top portion of the other side of the island. So that's my sister. Look. This is the outfit of the day. Looky, looky. We have matchy, matchy. The shorts to you. Matchy, matchy. Yes. So let's go. Kara, Kara no! I'm here! <laughs> what is What is there? Wait guys, let's go to the other side. I'm going to give you a little tour here in the island. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Come here, Kaya! Okay guys, before we proceed, look, there's a crab under there. Can you see that? Oh, there's a crab under there. <laughs> there's a lot of um, holes in the sand. And under those holes, especially those big holes, you'll find crabs under there. Hiding. See? And Caramel is really having a great time. Come here! What's <laughs> there? So yes, the island is very very clean. I don't see trash anywhere, so that's good. And yes, you can bring your food when you come here. 
and there's no parkage because they don't have any food stands or restaurants here that's why you have to bring your own food and also aside from that okay guys so this area over here you will not see this during the high tide only the top part of that Okay guys, let's go and let's continue with the tour. Look at caramel. Look. Over to the right side. I look right here. So that's it guys. This is basically the whole island. And oh my gosh, it's starting to get really hot now. So if you want to visit here in Agatayan Island, you have to expect that you have to pay for the boat and also the entrance fee or the environmental fee which is 50 pesos per person and the boat is 1,500 pesos which is good for 6 to 7 people so that's it also guys we're going to go snorkeling later but they said that they have snorkeling so they told us that that was for rent we will be renting those snorkeling equipment later which is 50 pesos per equipment so later we'll do that later so come on, there's hardly anything to find here in the island except for the beauty of it, like the white sand and all and the scenery, the very calming sea and caramel running around. Compared to the other side, this is much deeper. Because earlier it was like deeper, like okay, I'm gonna show you how deep. Here anymore. This is way too for her. Right? Okay. okay, so we should go back to where they are, to where the family is. Guys, look at the view, it's so beautiful. The blue beach plus the blue sky, and also the beautiful white sand. I recommend that you visit this place. So, guys, since our time is limited here, I'm going to take a little dip and then we're going to take a lot of photos, like a lot of photos male and all so yes join me as I go there and take a dip and see and see how deep the water is It's not really fine sand like that. See what I mean? It's not fine. It's just really shallow over here. I think if we just go there and explore the whole area, then we can find much more deeper area here. So guys, if you're here in Kagandi Aura or if you want to visit Kagandi Aura and you're looking for places that are Instagrammable and like a duke to comedians, so I think this is it. This is like comedian vibes, but in a much more affordable comedian vibe. Agatayan Island is a three hectare protected area or a sanctuary for those giant clams. And yes, they are protected. I don't know where to find them, but we might find them later. So the island itself has a crescent shape and has a total land area of 50,000 square meters. So guys, it is advised that if you come here in Agatayan Island, that you have to come here as early as 5 a.m. Because when you come here quite late like us, it's, well, it's still 7 in the morning, but it's really hot already. So that means you have to really prepare a lot of sunscreen to get here because of it. as you can see, it's really hot. I've already put sunscreen, so don't worry. So guys, you must come here as early as 5 a.m. to avoid this heat. And up to, you can come here up to 12 noon. But after 12 noon, you're not really allowed to stay here anymore, especially in the afternoon. And they don't have a bathroom here in the island itself. There's no bathroom here. So we're still going to check that. I'm not really sure if they have a bathroom or here over the watchtower. That's the watchtower, by the way. I think I should go snorkeling. Oh, 
she's gonna go like that guys I don't know how she's going to dive in that she's too scared she said <laughs> Videos from the GoPro later. Guys, look, I'm so excited. There's so many small silver fishes. So guys, we found another kind of fish. I'm not really sure what kind of fish this is, but he was really interested with the camera. Goodbye, Island. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. finally departed off the island and and we're here in the protected area to look for the giant clams we finally found two but sadly the water is not clear it's murky that is because it has been raining here in Mindanao lately look guys we found another two the sizes of these giant clams are estimated to be one foot by one and a half foot Okay guys, so we did not get to go to the watchtower but we did see some of their large or giant clams. We found four but the water was really kind of murky. It was not clear during this time because it has been raining here in Cagayan so that really affected the water and it was not clear. But the best time to come here in Agotayan would be during the um, summer season where it's not raining and all so yeah the water would be really really clear so that's it guys thank you so much for spending your time with me and please don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video also please don't forget to comment down your thoughts in the comment section okay guys thank you so much bye bye keep safe see you in the next video here are the Bisaya words of the day. The first one we have Baroto which means motorized boat. The second one is Isla which means island. The third one is Lawod which means 
a deep part of the ocean. And lastly, we have Taklobo, which means a giant clam.